and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing another boxy charm unboxing if you guys did not watch my first one i will put it up here somewhere um but basically that was my very first one and i did mention in that video that i wanted to go ahead and do another one uh like i'll do them monthly but i also wanted to let you guys know what i did or did not like from my last month's boxy charm as well that way these videos are kind of somewhat helpful uh, besides just showing you what I'm getting on, in my boxing charm because I'm sure a lot of you probably are subscribed as well. So yeah, if you guys want to see what I did or didn't like from my last boxy charm and what I'm getting in my new one, then just keep on watching. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So um, I'm actually wearing the ColourPop palette on my eyes right now and the lipstick, the lip gloss that I got last month. Um, but let's start. Let's go ahead and start with the palette itself. So this is the palette that I showed you guys. Um, and I'm not going to be too in-depth with these products because obviously I still have to open my other box and I don't want this video to be too long. But basically, um, I did try out this palette a few times, including today. And the one thing that I do want to say, this is called Element of Surprise. So I'm wondering if this has to do with that. I didn't really look into it. Um, but basically what I noticed was that a lot of the shadows, and majority all of them, come off really different off the pan. So that this looks like a really like... I don't know, purplish, almost burgundy, brownish color, but you pick it up and it's it's really light. Same thing with this one. This is like a purple color, but when you pick it up, it's actually like almost pink. Um, a lot of these, honestly, I think every single shadow that I use just looks really different from what it does in the pan. The shadows themselves um, are really blendable. They're really nice. I really like them. I think out of the whole palette, my favorite shadow is this one right here, which is black canvas i think if it's according to the way the names are in the back um that's probably my favorite one i have that all over the lid and then i have a little bit of this right in the center um but yeah overall i did like it that was my only like complaint i guess you could say was the fact that the colors look very different on the eyes than they do on the pan um as far as the lip gloss goes i really do like it i have it on my lips now i did mention in my in the video where I opened it is that I didn't really like the applicator and um, I still don't. It's really flimsy so I just don't prefer applicators like that but the actual uh, lipstick itself and the color I really really like. Um, this is probably the only product you guys that I did not like from this BoxyCharm and this is the Brow Gal um, Brow Tinted Brow Gel or whatever. I honestly it just didn't really do anything so I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is Obviously, if you're doing your eyebrows, you're going to just like lightly stroke or whatever. So that's what I was doing. And I was like getting no, like nothing. And I was just getting kind of like chunks like this. And so you have to like really press down to get anything. But even then, it's, I don't know. I just, I didn't like this. And I don't think I'm ever going to use this. Um, let's see, what else did I get? Um, this mask um, from Dr. Brandt. I did like it. I did try it just a couple of times, to be honest. Um, it kind of, it has like little like beads in there, kind of like the ones you would see like in an exfoliator, but this is more of a, a pore purifying mask. And um, it was actually really easy to take off. Like the way that it comes off is like really, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it, but this is not like a thick mask at all. It does give you like this sensation like of like a cooling sensation and even after you take it off it's there for a little bit and i'm not sure that i, I really like that but um it, it i didn't not like not like this you know so i think i'm just gonna keep trying it out probably leave it in my restroom just so i can keep using it and i think this is the last product this is the pro glow tardiest um liquid highlighter um i did like this um but it was actually just really hard to blend out onto the face so like if i put it on it was just like it kind of looked a really like like patchy look so i would probably recommend using this like maybe before your face um like your makeup like just kind of a a glow um but it's really hard to put it over your foundation and then try to blend it because like then you don't want to mess it up and stuff so that was the only downfall with that um, but yeah that's it overall i did like the products that were in there um like i said the only one that I, it's a completely fell for me was the brow gel or the tinted brow gel or whatever um and yeah that's it you guys so let's go ahead and open my actual box that i got this month it actually hasn't been quite um a month since i filmed the other one but i did kind of sign up late so it's been i think about three weeks and so um i think i'll do another one in three weeks and then i'll be on schedule to like a week when they're actually being delivered and stuff because i actually got this last week um but anyway let's go ahead and open it i'm excited Ooh, okay, this is what it looks like. If you guys want to take a quick peek. 
and a lot of this stuff was mentioned like on their page so I kind of didn't know about a lot of these things so the first product is this cover effects blurring primer I actually have let me see I actually have this cover effects illuminating primer primer sorry it's so freaking dirty and I actually really really like it um, a lot of the stuff that I've gotten from cover effects I've never been disappointed in I have like two other foundations um, their highlighting drops that they came out with that were like all the rave I have those and they're so pretty um, so I'm excited to try this i'm glad i'm guessing as far as like blurring primer goes it's more like um like for pores and stuff like that yeah it minimizes the appearance of pores and lines so uh that's exciting and i think as i go ahead and uh, mention the price i'll tell you how much you're supposed to cost so msrp for this is 38 dollars all right so moving on i also did get this really cute pretty vulgar what is this uh gel eyeliner and this is what it looks like. Isn't that adorable? Let me open it. It feels really heavy, but yeah, it's just like a matte gel eyeliner that's in here. I don't think you guys can see it, but um, I wonder like how much product is in here. Let's see. 0.2 ounces. So I think this is more just a bottle that weighs a lot, um, but that's exciting. I think that it come or came with a brush to apply. Oh, okay, so it came with this. So really quickly, let's see how much this cost. This is from the brand Pretty Vulgar, and the uh, price for this is $24. And I also did get these brushes right here, so I'm guessing you can use these with the gel eyeliner. This is from the brand S Aesthetica, and these retail for $45. I honestly don't own any brushes from this brand, um, but let's go ahead and open it. So it does come with a spoolie um like a flat angled definer brush and then it looks like an eyeliner brush i'm not a big fan of this fully i really don't need it because i use my anastasia sorry i use my anastasia brows and it has one on there i don't think i need a new one but i guess uh it comes with that let me feel this really quickly because i want to see so i i can probably use this like for eyeshadow i don't know that i would use this with joe eyeliner because it's too thick and it's too flimsy. I usually like them for them to be a little bit like um, more firm, if that makes any sense. And then this, I'm guessing, is the actual gel eyeliner brush. Let me open it if I can. There it goes. Hmm. So this is kind of long. Um, but I think it will work with that gel eyeliner. I might try it out right now, actually. Um, but let's keep it moving. So what else did I get? All right, so next thing that I got was this brush. Oh, and I did forget to mention. So in this boxy charm, there are six products uh, versus five because I think it was like their anniversary or something like that. So they included an extra product. Um, but this is also from Aesthetica, and this is the P12 Face Brush. So, let's see. This is uh, really flimsy to start off with. And it has like a scent to it, but it's just a brand new brush. I think that's why. Um, so this has kind of like an... I don't know if it's supposed to have like an angle or it was just messed up from this wrapper. Um, but this is what it looks like. It looks very interesting. I think it's just kind of messed up because um, of the wrapper. But I don't know. I can probably use this for like bronzer maybe even blush um powder so yeah i'm not sure how i feel about this brush but anyway moving on i also got this matte lip gloss so it's kind of this is what it looks like this is really cute packaging and this is from boxycharm i think it says beauty creations liquid lip gloss and this is uh, usually ten dollars so let me go ahead and open it this is in the shade sweetheart so this is what it looks like. This is also like giant. This is kind of like the other one um, that I got. But this is a matte lip gloss. That's interesting. So I do like this applicator. So that's a good sign. And let me just swatch it really quickly. Oh, I love this. This These are shades that I live for. Oh my god, I love, 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 love. Sorry, this is still from that brow gel that I showed you guys earlier. But this is so pretty. I love this. I hope it's a good formula. Um, because I love the color already and yeah, 
I'm super excited for this actually. And then last but not least, I know, here it is. It also comes with a palette and this is supposed to be, how much? Um, $30 and this is from Pure Cosmetics and it's a sculptor palette. So it comes in this. Uh, okay. There we go. All right, this is what the palette looks like. It comes with a little mirror. Um, and let's see, these are the shades that come in the palette. The packaging itself feels really cheap, but um, these are two highlighter shades, and then these are like the sculpting powder um, shades. It smells, it kind of smells like chocolate. It kind of reminds me of the chocolate, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette because of the scent. But let me go ahead and swatch this shade. I actually really like these types of highlighters because they're not too light for my skin tone. They yeah, feel really nice. This is on the finger, and let's just go ahead and do one here on the side. Mm. And then I guess here, over this other thing. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, huh. I think what I want to do right now is actually, I'm gonna stop filming, I'm gonna finish my face makeup with the stuff that I got right now. I don't want to do it on camera because this video is gonna be super, super long. Right, so I'm gonna do that off of camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this kind of turned into an unintentional first impression, so I'll go really quickly because obviously I will let you guys know next month what I thought of these products after I tried them for a little bit, but first impressions, um, the eyeliner I actually like, which is this right here, the brush itself that I used for it, it's not bad, it's, it's alright, I probably would use this with a different brush in the future, and then the Pure Sculptor Palette, you guys, I don't know, um, these two shades are super patchy and like... I don't know how to explain it, but it was just really, really patchy. Um, I did put both of these on my cheekbones, and I actually really like them. These are really nice, um, pretty highlights. Um, and then I obviously couldn't try the primer because I already did my face makeup. Um, but big disappointment, you guys. This is such a pretty color, but on the lips, they are so drying. Like... I feel like my lips are trapped right now because of this lipstick and it really cracked a lot. I'm gonna watch this. Isn't that crazy? I'm so disappointed because I really like this. Um, I might try this again with the gloss over it, which is ironic because this is the matte lip gloss. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try this again with the lip gloss over, but by itself, I cannot. It's cracking. It looks actually just like really ugly, to be honest with you, um, which makes me so disappointed. Oh, another thing. I did try this brush. This is gonna be more like a powder brush, like all over the face, because I did try this just with a little bit of the, the, um, the sculpting palette, and it's too flimsy, and you can't really be precise with this. It's just all over the place. Um, I did end up using a different brush that I usually use for contouring and stuff. That way, I couldn't blame it on the brush, and it was just the the um, powder itself. But all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry if it's long. I did try to put a lot of stuff into one, um, but hopefully, it was in some way helpful. If you guys did like it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you guys liked it. That way, I can continue to do this in my future videos. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.